Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss how can you add furniture and objects to uh, our uh, plan. Okay, so in the last video we discussed the cut out. Now in, the, in this lesson we would like to discuss the furniture and objects, which is of course in the construction tab. So click first on furniture and uh, objects. Now at first, let's say um, you have the AutoCAD file and you already have the furniture of the plan, okay? And you would like to add the furniture to Dialect Save. So uh, you have to remember that the furniture is not really important in the lighting design, okay? However, I would like to show you how can you add furniture to the um, Dialect file. Okay, so let's say we have this store. This store we will consider this one for this lesson as uh, not a not a store but a room. Okay, a meeting room. Okay, to make it really really easy for you. So as you know that in the meeting room we have a table in the middle of the room and we have some chairs around it. So we would like to add a table and some chairs to understand how can we do this in Dialect Save. So first, as you can see, active objects, we will click on select like this in the furniture tab and go to catalogs like this and then click on Dialect Save. Okay, double click like this. You will find that it is reading files at the beginning when you start um, clicking on this one. Okay, it will load all of the uh, furniture and objects which are in Dialect Save. So as you can see, we have objects in general, all of the objects which you can select from in Dialect Save, and you will see we have home furniture, office furniture, and so on. So as an example, we said this one is a meeting room, so it is an office. So let's go to office furniture like this. You will find here tables. If we double click like this, let's take it back. If you uh, click on uh, office furniture like this, you will find all of the objects, all of the objects used in office. However, you will find here another uh, arrow. If you click on this one, you will find the subcategories, which is tables, the chairs, and so on. So let's say we need a table. Click on table, and you will find all of the tables which are available in Dialect Save. Okay, many, many different types of tables. So let's say we would like to select one for this lesson. Mm, let's select one of these. Okay, let's go here. Like this. Um, okay, go down here. Let's say this one, for example, okay, this one. So what we are going to do, double click like this, okay, uh, click apply and then close. Like this, you will find the table here. Now, what are you going to do? We'll just take it like we did before indoors and windows, click on this and drag it like this here. Okay, so we'll find here we have our table. So if we move it like this inside the room, Okay, so we have our table. Let's see in the 3D view. In 3D view like this, you will find here a really, really small table, right? Like this. This one is really, really small. Okay, so we can increase the size of this table. Okay, like this. We would like to increase the size. So let's go to the 2D view. Okay, uh, select this one, then go to scale like this. You will find here two arrows which appear. Click and drag like this. And if I to the other side like this. And like this. And like this. Okay, so we have a large room here. Uh, we can drag it like this okay so if we look at the 3d view you will find a table 
like this, this table, then of course the room here is really, really small. So we can, instead of using it here, we can add it in the battery room and consider this one as a meeting room. So we can click it and drag uh, to the view, um, go it like this, then use move, take this one here, okay? Just to see how it looks like, okay? Like this, okay? In the to view like this. Okay, so this one is a larger room which we can use. Okay, click on it and scale to increase its size like this. And like this. Okay, large table in the middle of the room. Okay, we can move it like this. Okay, like this. Now, what are we going to do next? We would like to add some chairs. So first we click on select, same as before. Then uh, click on the Dialex Evo catalog, double click, and you will find it is loaded already. You don't need, to, you don't have to wait every time. Then we go to office, then uh, click on this arrow, go to chairs. Um, we would like um, any type of chair. You find many, many types of chairs. Let's say I would like this one. Uh, office chair, this one. Okay, click on apply. Like this. Okay, close. You will find that chair here. So take it and drag it anywhere you would like. Like this. Okay. So you will find here the chair. Like this. Let's see it in the 3D view, like this. You will find here a small chair, okay? Um, we can take this one, move a little bit to here. Uh -huh. Okay, like this. Okay. So we can see here a table and a chair, not the best thing, but just to give you the idea how to do this inside Dialexive. Okay. Now, if I would like to add more chairs, you can simply take and drag or just right click, um, copy, and then right click and paste, then drag this one here. Okay. Like this. So we'll have two chairs. Okay. Now, instead of doing this, you can add um, another type of uh, way, another type uh, or another way to add many chairs. As an example, instead of just doing uh, right click, uh, copy and paste and all of this. Okay, you can simply delete both of these chairs. And you'll find here many, many types of arrangement which you can use. We already discussed the arrangement in the red dialex in our course for electrical design. And you can understand the same idea. Instead of having uh, arrangement of luminaires, you will have arrangement for um, the chairs. Okay, as an example. So let's say I would like to see how it looks like uh, rectangular arrangement like this. Go to the storeroom here. And I would like a group of chairs from this point to here, like this, group of chairs here, okay? So we'll see here we have two chairs, okay? Like this, if we select, we have a chairs in this region, in this rectangular region, two chairs. Now, if we go down here, you will find that we can control number of objects, how many chairs you would like. Let's say I would like six chairs. Let's see if it is possible or not like this okay six chairs uh, this is in the x position and this is in y position let's say i would like three um, uh, y in the y axis direction like this so we'll see one two three three uh, rows and six x x which is the columns one two three four five six okay so if we uh, click on anywhere and go to the 3d view not this one like this, uh -huh. this one here, like this, you'll find here 
the arrangement of chairs okay you can use this one in um, in college for example when we need many many uh, chairs beside each others okay um, this is one of the arrangements rectangular there's also polygon there is a circular and so on okay so we can select this one and delete now if I would like to have line of features here and another line of features how can I do this simply you can choose draw line arrangement and then you would like where you would like the line from here to here right like this okay from here um, to here like this okay so we'll find two chairs only now how many objects i would like as you can see here we can control number of objects let's say i would like six chairs let's see okay six chairs beside each other so this is our line first line i would like another one here on the other side let's see in the 3d uh -huh. okay so it is uh, this one is looking uh, not to the table but outside so let's do something else like this right click and copy paste take this one here to the side okay like this and um, take this one and then use that rotate same as what we did in the previous lesson of doors and the chairs now then like this and rotate like this okay so if we look at the um, 3d view like this so we'll find here a table mm -hmm. table and group of chairs right now we can add another chair here and another chair here go to the 2d view uh, take one chair here then uh, rotate like this i think to this side let's see in the uh, not this side rotate like this then uh, move like this let's see in the 3d okay a chair group of chairs mm -hmm. okay uh, take this one copy then um, okay we can we can add in this side but it is not necessary okay so we added a table and we added group of chairs now let's see if i would like to add um, a sofa for example select double click here home furniture like this um, go down here okay something like this um, like this one apply you will find it here close take one of these and add it here okay so this one is on the left okay so let's uh, move this one um, okay this is a left one here you will find a bathroom I, uh, this is the battery room okay so neglect this one neglect this uh, this part from the uh, original battery room okay so let's take this one here just assume this is a meeting room just an assumption okay so let's see in the 3d view you will find here a small couch okay like this so we can scale it like how uh, go here select this one go to scale then drag it like this one like this uh-huh uh, three d view okay something like this we can add another one here um select go to dialects here uh, home furniture go down here and find another one which is the right one this one 
uh, apply and then close like this drag it here like this scale uh -huh. a little bit like this okay uh, let's see okay something like this two sofas you will see how can we add them okay um, of course the room is a lot bigger it should be a lot bigger and of course the door is a lot far from the sofa okay uh, let's add for example a table here uh, 2d view it is the best to add in the 2d view uh, 2d view is much more easier um, for example any table any small table okay um, like this one for example apply take this one here okay um, take it here then scale select and scale like this just a small table okay then we can select and move like this close to this one okay so let's see in the 3d view like this something like this um, it is a long table <laughs> okay but anyway just you can find the many many other tables which are better than this okay i'm not uh i'm really really bad at decoration so don't judge me please okay <laughs> um so as you can see um group of chairs like this you can see here group of chairs table group of chairs uh two sofas and we have here a small table okay like this so as you can see this is how can you add a uh, furniture to a uh, dialex evo file okay simply you can click on select then click double click on this one the catalog here or if you have a folder with um dialex files of the other types of furniture you can select them from here then after this you select any one you would like like this click on apply you will find here it changes then you simply click and drag to add any type of furniture okay so this was uh, another lesson on how can you add a furniture to dialex evo program